Hi folks and welcome to another episode of From Amateur to Expert Daily where we talk about work, wealth and how to position yourself as an expert. Today let's talk about wealth and I'd like to ask you a different question. Think about the year that you've had so far and the work that you've done. Presumably you have some source of income such as a salary, part-time work, something that you do that brings in money. Now I want you to think for just a second about how much work, how much labor you've done within that bracket, within that category, up to this point in the year. Now, I want you to put that aside and I want to ask you a different question about wealth. What have you done to invest in your wealth potential over and above the work that you do? So let's stop there and ask, what does that actually mean? If your sole source of income is the work that you do and your income is low at the moment, then the answer to that question would be, I have invested in a specific skill, I have made a clever strategic move, or I plan to get some form of a qualification that will help me to get ahead. Here it's worth noting that Forbes points out the number one skill to master in order to progress, in order to increase your income, in order to increase your earning potential happens to be public speaking and presenting. Being able to lead a group of people and put your ideas across positions you for success. But it can be smaller things than that. Becoming wealthy really is about balancing two sides of an equation. How much goes out? How much comes in? Can you keep the amounts that come in from going out? And can you increase the amounts that come in? So if you haven't done anything conscious to make yourself wealthy this year, here is the smallest yet nevertheless relevant thing that you can do and you can do it today. Go to your bank accounts and look for small amounts that are coming off. If you have a hundred bucks coming off every month for something that you are unaware of, that may seem like a very small amount, but over the course of a year, that's over a thousand bucks. Over the course of 10 years, it's over 10,000. And what if you have more than one of these small amounts draining out of your accounts? That is future potential wealth disappearing from your life. Now it actually gets worse than that, of course, because those amounts could be earning interest if they were properly invested. So if you've done nothing else this year toward your future wealth potential, do that one thing today. Go and make sure that you are not losing money unnecessarily. Cancel things that you do not benefit from, that you do not need. Now let's think more proactively about it. If, for example, you are working for a salary, what clever move can you make? What thing can you invest in in order to increase your income potential? Is it time to look at a lateral move, a move to another organization? Is it time to go solo? Do you have enough skill, knowledge and information to do what you do for yourself to become your own boss? Are you able to do something that massively increases your income potential? Perhaps you've been playing with the idea of developing the ubiquitous app, the thing that you make once and then sell multiple times over. That absolutely can work and there's a reason for the stereotype. It certainly has made a great number of people very wealthy and often very young as well. So what would be your first step toward that dream project that you have in your mind? Do you need to learn to code? Do you need to figure out whether there are competing apps? Are there some logistics that you need to work out in order to make your app work? Perhaps it's not about an app for you. Maybe you plan to write the book, to write the song, to create the show. You have that idea in mind for the thing that will launch you to success. What's your next step? Dreaming about it and keeping it hypothetical does not serve you and will not put zeros into your bank account. If right now, for example, you are struggling with some form of a, uh, an excuse, a hindrance, a, a reason why not, I'd like you to consider this harsh idea. What if you get to the end of your life and you discover that you had the potential to do something? You could have carried out that dream. And instead, at the end of your life, you hand in your excuse and you say, here's why I didn't. That gives me goosebumps. I don't know about you. So what's the thing that you plan to do this year to increase your wealth potential? Forget the question, how do I earn money? Ask the question, how many things have I already done this year to invest in becoming wealthy in the future?
As you know by now, we've already done 400 episodes of From Amateur to Expert Daily, talking about your work, your wealth, and how you can position yourself as a top expert in your industry. If you're finding them useful, helpful, and if you think anyone else can benefit from them, please share them broadly. Now folks, I have some interesting news that I'm going to share with you, but I have to wait a few days just in case. In addition to the new book, Virus Proof Your Small Business, 50 Ways to Survive the COVID-19 Crisis, it looks likely that I've had another book accepted for publication, and this is in the States. Now, this one is quite a controversial title, and it's one that's very close to my heart. I'm in discussions with the publisher at the moment, so I'll just make sure that the contract looks okay, and then hopefully on Monday I'll be able to share that one with you. It will entail the launch of a whole new YouTube channel for completely different topic matter, and of course it will be a globally launched book as well. So, we'll talk about that on Monday, and we'll talk again about how you can position yourself as an expert and take your dreams one step further.